This action includes a number of scientists coming from more than uh, 36 countries across Europe and outside Europe. The aim of the action is uh, to improve our ability to describe ideological processes in order to understand better the specific components of the ideological cycle, such as uh, dynamics and behavior of vegetation, such as uh, uh, dynamics of uh, soil water content or soil uh, texture characteristics, um, uh, stream flow and evolution of rivers, uh, as well as uh, uh, description or monitoring of extreme events such floods. In this context we are interested at uh, very uh, high resolution uh, in order to exploit this resolution to upscale information from the plus scale up to the basin scale. In this context, uh, um, the UAS provides an extraordinary amount of information and an inc in incredible uh, potential. In fact, the uh, UAS may, uh, uh, may measure information at uh, the resolution of few centimeters which is comparable with the resolution of field uh, scale experiments and, and measurements. In the, in the last few years, there has been also a significant uh, development of the technology uh, related to the use of uh, U.S. This makes uh, U.S. an extraordinary tool to complement the use of satellites. A network of scientists requires an organization. The uh, Harmonious Network is organized in working group and we have a number of uh, uh, scientists which are coordinating those activities. In particular, we have myself as a chair. Uh, we have a vice chair, which is uh, Brigitta Tot. We have a science communication manager, which is uh, Laszlo Bertalan. Uh, a short-time scientific uh, mission coordinator, which is uh, Isabel de Lima, a training school coordinator, uh, which is uh, Giuseppe Ciraulo, an ETC grant coordinator, which is Martin Mocros. It's useful to know uh, who is doing what, because uh, if needed uh, in uh, the coming months, um, we can, you can eventually contact one of these people for specific uh, answer or questions. Uh, coming to the structure of uh, the activities, uh, we have five working groups and each working group uh, has a leader and a vice leader. In particular, working group one is focusing on uh, data processing and for instance uh, uh, geometric correction and image calibration. And this uh, working group is coordinated by Sorin Erban. Uh, the vice leader is uh, Corinne Davis. We have a working group two, which is focusing on uh, uh, vegetation monitoring. This working group is coordinated by Antonino Maltese. The vice leaders are Felix Francis, which is coordinating a branch of the working group focusing on agricultural applications while the vice leader Jana Mullerova is coordinating a subgroup uh, focusing on natural ecosystems. Working group three is focusing on uh, US-based observations, uh, focusing on uh, soil water content. Uh, this one is coordinated by Yijin Zeng and the vice leader is Anna Brook. Uh, then we have a working group four, which is focusing on river monitoring uh, in terms of morphology and in terms of flow velocity, flow discharge. Uh, this one is coordinated by uh, Matthew Perks with uh, the vice leader Daria Sternikova. Finally, we have working group five, which is uh, named harmonization of methods and results in order to specify and characterize protocols and guidance in specific environments based on the experience gained by different working groups, uh, which is coordinated by Eyal Bendor and the vice leader is Flavia Tauro. 
the action uh, is uh, um, online uh, so the people can uh, stay in contact with that with, with us uh, receive information about our activities we have a, a home page uh, that uh, can be easily identified we have a youtube channel we have a facebook uh, page dedicated to the project and uh, where all the communication and uh, info news of interest for uh, our community are shared with uh, uh, with them we have a twitter account as well as a linkedin account we have uh, several working groups as uh, said for instance in working group uh, one the main uh, interests are related to the uh, errors and uh, calibration correction of uh, uh, images in terms of colors in terms of uh, uh, in, in terms of geometry in terms of uh, quality in this uh, in this uh, slide we can see just an example of uh, uh, potential errors that we can uh, have uh, in uh, in a survey taken from uh, from a drone. Um, working group uh, two is focusing on vegetation, and in this graph we see uh, just a sequence of three images uh, taken from or derived from different sensors. Uh, the first one, number A, is uh, taken with a, a multispectral uh, sensor mounted on. Uh, uh, on um, drone and uh, uh, in this image uh, compared with the others that are taken from satellites sometime with high resolution in uh, uh, in C with a lower resolution of approximately approximately three meters which is not that bad I have to say but still we can see especially comparing C with A that uh, with the use of drone we can really reach the uh, clear and distinguishable, distinguishable description of canopies. Another topic of interest also for agriculture but also in, uh, in hydrology in general is uh, the uh, soil moisture monitoring. Also here we have a field site which is located in Italy that is Monte, Monteforte Cilento where we have uh, been carrying out a significant amount of activities and in the map that we see on the right and on the top right, we, we can see uh, the orthomosaic and on the top of the orthomosaic there is also a reconstruction of the soil moisture distribution across the field. This uh, provides us a clear idea of how the soil moisture can be heterogeneous in space, um, even in a field that is, that is apparently relatively homogeneous. This graph here and this uh, uh, slide introduces uh, the activities of working group four, which are aimed to describe uh, river flow dynamics and uh, uh, river flow uh, velocity uh, and other features uh, such as morphology uh, also. But uh, in this image we can see a, a 2D distribution of flow velocity field of a flow velocity field uh, that uh, gives, uh, gives us also a clear idea of what are the potential of uh, this kind of techniques uh, uh, applied to uh, movies taken from drones. The aspect that was investigated is the use of drones and SFM uh, methods uh, uh, for the 3D uh, modeling of uh, a surface or a river. In this context, uh, there was a paper that was published in uh, 2019 on drone, uh, which provides uh, some strategy and suggestions in order to optimize and reduce uh, the errors associated to a uh, 3D model based on uh, a, uh, a SFM algorithm and in particular uh, based on the use of uh, Photoscan. Coming to the conclusion, one of the last papers that we published was uh, uh, current practices in US-based environmental monitoring. Uh, this paper was published with uh, uh, Goran Tumcic, which was a PhD student that we selected for uh, a short time scientific mission during uh, our, uh, um, one of our uh, training courses. 
during this uh, short time scientific mission we investigated all uh, the available uh, studies and applications that uh, uh, have been carried out during the last few years on the use of uh, US and uh, identifying practices and uh, guidance for the use of uh, US and the first step that we took was to identify the complexity of the problem. The problem, in fact, involves a number of, uh, of elements uh, which range from uh, the, definition of, and, uh, the definition of quality parameters, the uh, uh, identification of proper software and hardware to, to be used, uh, the uh, setting of uh, uh, the experiment and uh, design of the, uh, of the condition, uh, the, the selection of uh, the camera parameters, uh, flight parameters, and so on and so on. All these uh, features and all these parameters somehow interact with each other and we must somehow identify a clear uh, uh, workflow uh, to uh, reach the uh, best uh, uh, survey uh, with the US. Now, coming to the conclusion, and, uh, it's, uh, it's worthy to say that uh, US-based remote sensing can provide new advanced strategy to monitor different components of uh, river systems and river basins uh, and can represent an extraordinary tool for uh, uh, the enhancement of, uh, of, uh, of water uh, resources availability and assist us in agriculture and ecosystem management. Uh, the action is uh, somehow is supporting the definition of standardized procedure for US-based monitoring activities and most of these results will be collected in a book that will be published with Elsevier that is named Remote Sensing of Environment Using a Monetary System. Before uh, saying goodbye and thank you for the attention, I would like to share with you the list of publication of the most recent publication that uh, have been uh, produced uh, during the last few years within the cost action harmonious and I would like to share also a video about our web page which um, contains most of uh, these documents and all the outcomes that have been produced uh, during this project. Okay, goodbye. Thank you.